Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for the 30th of July. You just had the King of Wands pop out so you're either getting ready to follow your passion or you're thinking a lot about a fire sign. All right. Wow, look at the split deck. Pretty cool. All right, so these messages won't resonate with everybody so just please apply it where it fits. Page of Swords is your first card out. That was the Three of Cups. You just had the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. Energy. Whoa. There's that Three of Cups and the Two of Swords. For the energy coming in for you. Spirit's advice is the Nine of Pentacles. And the outcome of this connection. <laughs> the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Fool in Reverse. Clarified with the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Next under the deck is the Queen of Wands, followed by the Ten of Cups. So, let's get, let's see what this Page of Swords is all about. You could be watching somebody from afar, um, Virgos. Just curious what they're doing, wondering what, if, what they're up to, who they're hanging out with. Why is the Page of Swords here? Or you are diving deep into a partner's text messages, emails, trying to find some information. So you're very confused about which path to take. Um, you could be acting, and don't get mad at me Virgos, but you could be acting kind of immature when it comes to making a decision. Um, there is somebody in your space, however, that is intentionally trying to confuse you um, because they know that there is a third party here. They know that you have a choice to make. So whoever you are in a committed relationship with could be trying to intentionally, you know, they could be telling lies about that third party, trying to make you think that you don't want to go in that direction. But you're also having a lot of conflict and a lot of arguments between somebody that you're in a commitment with. You're dealing with a situation that just couldn't quite get off the ground because it wasn't quite time yet. Could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but this is somebody that you want to have a new beginning with. Um, and you're trying to materialize it in this, in this lifetime. But it's proving to be very hard because you have a lot of people in your environment that are intentionally trying to fuck your head up. Or you're doing this to somebody else, Virgos. The person that you are dealing with, um, you feel that they are your perfect balance, the yin and yang. Um, they are also very connected to spirit, to source. They have one foot in the material, one foot in the spiritual, um, providing a perfect balance. Um, they also have the secrets to making a successful relationship. This is your opportunity. This is your big gift. This is the door opening to an amazing spiritual connection as well as an amazing relationship. This is the opportunity that you are being offered with this person. Why is the High Priestess in the Ace of Pentacles? This person isn't talking much, though. You could not be talking to them or they're not talking to you. Um, this person is just sitting back watching, waiting. Waiting for to see what your next move is. They know they have everything that you want. That's the truth. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. They know that they are your gift. They're just waiting for you to wake up to it. They're waiting for you to see through the lies that somebody is telling you in your own environment. 
They're waiting for you to choose love because you truly love this person. The connection you share between you and this person is unmistakably amazing. Why is the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the High Priestess and Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, they're waiting for the tower to fall. They're waiting for you to clear a path to this new opportunity, to this new beginning. They're waiting for you to, um, for it to come to light what is going on. Waiting for the tower. And the energy coming towards you. You have to make a choice between where you're at or a third party. Virgos, you're still at that choice. You guys have had this choice for probably two to three years now. Um... Why is the Two of Swords and the Three of Cups here for Virgo? You know one of these one of these choices will bring you happiness and joy. Um, why is this here? Yeah, but you are just retreating. You're not making a decision. You're just going quiet. You're going within. Um, Spirit's advice for you is to focus on your own happiness, to do what's going to make you happy, to invest in your future. Because if you don't care about what your future brings, nobody else is going to. You have to invest in your own happiness. You can't wait for somebody to come in and save the day or make you happy. You have to go get it. You have to want it. And that happiness is with a fire sign or somebody who you have a lot of passion for. Um, so it's time to take action. It's time to get out of your head, to quit thinking about it, to be confident in your choice, and to, once again, do what's going to make you happy. Um, and I do feel that as with... Um, somebody else, the third party that you're dealing with, that, the third party that could not get off the ground in the past because the Ace of Cups does lie with them. Whoever this is that did not get off the ground. Um, yeah, they are who you have this passionate love for, who you want to be with, with the judgment. You're going to get a wake-up call um, and it's going to come in the form of a tower if you don't make the decision yourself. Oh my goodness. We have all four aces out. Amazing. You know the truth, Virgo. You know who your spiritual uh, partner is. You know, but yet you're still holding on to something. Not wanting to let it go out of fear. Out of greed. Out of not knowing what step to take next. But the divine is trying to wake you up. They're trying to show you. Um, they're holding the lantern up for you. I've said this in a couple different readings today. This person is your light bearer. This person is going to create a new life with you. You have everything it takes to move forward, including the wake-up call from the universe, including the truth, including you're awakened, but yet you're holding on to this for some reason. With the fool is the magician, the person that did not get that this relationship did not get off the ground with is the person you're meant to manifest a new beginning with, a new life. You have to take that leap of faith. Don't worry about falling on your head. You'll land on your feet because you have all the tools you need to move forward. Um, this is everything you want. Everything. Um, not only do they have enough love for themselves, they have enough love to give you and this is your perfect match, your person, the person you want to be with. This could have started out as a third party, or this person is your third party, or you have Taurus in your chart, Virgo. You could be a Virgo sun, Taurus moon. But um, this is all about materializing this relationship with this empress. This is your divine partner that's trying to manifest in your life, bringing the, the spiritual into the material. Um, the two of you will come out successful, but you have to fight for this as well. This is an amazing, amazing, oh my goodness. Look at this, Virgos. If you fight for this, you will win. But you have to lay down this burden that you're carrying that doesn't need to be carried any longer. It's time to let that go. Um, you're coming to an end of a cycle with a different situation that was the other person in this third party. That is, it's time to let that go so you can manifest a new Ten of Pentacles, a new life that's going to bring you emotional happiness and contentment and joy and love and happiness. But you have to let that go. You have to accept this transformation. 
so you can be with your past life soulmate. So no wonder why you have all four aces, Virgos. You have all four tens right in a row. And this is the first time I've used this deck. I've used a different deck with every um, Zodiac today. Okay. So you have the ending of one family and the person that you are being silent towards, the person that this did not get off the ground with, they hold the door of opportunity after you end a cycle within a family. Your family could be standing in the way. You couldn't be fearing money or how you're going to live. This person is going to bring you more abundance than you could imagine. You need to release the responsibility and the burden that is not yours that you're carrying on that shoulder so you can follow your own passion and create something new. This person will give you love tenfold, but you must love yourself first. This person is divinely awakened. So are you. But it's time to have the confidence and the love for self to do what's best for you and go get that happily ever after. Because the pain and the, the betrayal has to be left in the past. Because there's no room for that in the, um, in the spiritual awakening of this relationship let that go leave that in the past move forward with truth and honor and know that you deserve to be successful within this divine connection this is amazing uh virgos this most definitely is your divine partner so you need to come out of seclusion you need to start talking you need to make this decision so you can move forward. Do what's going to make you happy. Do what's best for you. And that's what's going to bring success into this relationship. Whew, that was a huge reading, Virgos. But what a beautiful one. All right, guys. I hope you um, enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please subscribe if you haven't already. So you can get alerted when I post new videos and go live. I um, appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Love you. God bless.